Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna joins us now from the Storm Tracker Weather Center. Kate, that same system has the potential to create severe weather here in North Alabama tomorrow. It certainly does, and there's also that elevated risk for fire danger even across our eastern counties, northeast Alabama, parts of Georgia, as all of us see very strong wind before the severe threat ramps up. Now, speaking of the severe threat, high wind is still at the top of the list. I'd mentioned to you strong wind before the storms get here. Well, within the storms themselves, winds gusting 70 plus miles per hour. That's a straight line wind threat. There's also the risk for embedded tornadoes. The potential for maybe a couple of strong tornadoes is there as well. EF2 or stronger. That's a risk that's higher, mainly west of I-65. The flooding potential is there, but all of this is pretty fast moving. We'll still get a quick one to two inches of rain as all of this rolls through. Look at the temperatures right now. We are at 70 degrees currently in Fort Payne, 64 in Huntsville, 66 in Athens, 67 in Muscle Shoals. It is going to be a very mild night tonight, but a dry night. It's staying mostly cloudy. Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network showing that quiet picture with a satellite overlaid. You'll see all of that cloud cover. And as we look at the wider view, there's that line of storms starting to get going here from San Angelo in Texas all the way up into northern Missouri. That's the line of storms that will be marching our way. This entire system marching our way by tomorrow evening. So we're going to get a really good handle on the exact arrival time. And I think that the data is doing a pretty good job of keying in on when that will be. But we'll be able to see this line of storms well before it gets to North Alabama. Tomorrow, your high 82 degrees. That's after starting the day with temperatures near 60 degrees. To put it simply, it is very windy. Gusts to 45 miles per hour. It's a warm wind out of the south. So even with the cloud cover, temperatures will be rising well above average. That chance for severe weather, that's what comes in later tomorrow evening. Just to kind of give you an overview here, taking you all the way to 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon before the storms move in seeing gusts even exceeding 45 miles per hour in some instances. So some power outages are going to be possible even before the severe threat gets here. That means you need to have multiple ways to receive warnings in the event that you do lose power and you can't watch us over the air. You want to make sure that you can still charge your wireless devices. And you have a NOAA weather radio to get the warnings to you in a timely manner. So here's what we've got with that outlined risk again. I told you earlier to not really pay too much attention to exactly where these lines are drawn. We all face this threat for severe weather tomorrow. Most of us under that level three out of five on the scale from the Storm Prediction Center. That is just indicative of numerous severe storms, a damaging wind threat, and a risk for tornadoes. So we're starting on the wider view here, watching this line head our way. Seven o'clock tomorrow morning, it's moving through Arkansas, continuing to track eastward. We start mostly dry, mostly cloudy, and you'll notice here, look closely, couple of cells trying to get going ahead of the line. It's a possibility. It's one that we don't see much really extend farther east into North Alabama, but it is worth monitoring because that would also prevent uh, present that tornado threat. So here's four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Storm's getting ready to move into Northwest Alabama. There's six o'clock. Keep watching this timeline here as the line continues to approach I-65. There's eight o'clock tomorrow night. Now all the way closer to 930, storms getting ready to move into Sand Mountain. And as fast moving as this is, there's not a lot of steady rain behind it. That's another reason why that flooding threat's on the lower end. These storms are moving into northwest Georgia just after midnight. So we'll finally see things calming down for the second half of the night tomorrow. But just to reiterate that timeline one more time, 5 to 7 storm arrival through the Shoals, I-65, Athens, Decatur, Huntsville, 7 to 9 o'clock, 9 to 11 for northeast Alabama. Those are the earlier arrival times that we are expecting. Seven-day forecast, look at the drop in temperatures. This line of storms is coming ahead of a cold front, 82 tomorrow, 66 is your high temperature on Thursday. If we do find ourselves in the midst of severe weather coverage, you can always listen for that live coverage at any one of these radio stations.